Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name's Simon, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. And today we're going to be talking about shaping the ball, draw and fades. I get asked this a lot, and I'm very much a feel kind of player and coach, and I want to give you guys the feeling of how to hit this. Now, back swings. Yes, very important. However, I can't see your backswing, guys, so I have no idea what your swing looks like. However, I do know what has to happen at impact for the ball to do what it does. The ball does not know what your swing looks like. All it knows is that it's getting hit. So we're gonna be talking a lot about swing path and a lot about club face so that you hopefully by the end of this video have a good understanding. So you see me here with the drill sticks, one point to the right, that is my swing path. So the head should be traveling out to the right and the one in the middle is my target. Okay, now the important thing, club face should always be in between these two lines if you're hitting a fade or a draw. If it's outside those lines, it's going to the right or it's going to the left. Um, that's end of. Club face is king when it comes to initial direction or trying to hit the ball straight in any manner. Okay, now I like to exaggerate things a lot, especially when I'm trying to work on changes. I like to go the other way. So hopefully when I'm out on the golf course, they're gonna feed nicely into some, my subconscious. So I've got the drill sticks again down here. Ball position should not change for fade or draw. Unless you're trying to hit a punch or a high shot, ball position should always stay relatively in the middle or slightly towards your front foot, especially for a seven iron or going forward. And try and exaggerate club face try and feel it's always at the target and i don't mind hooks and slices at this point you need to exaggerate if you're if you're a player that's always faded the ball you need to exaggerate this and i've got a few drills that's going to help with that as well so two balls either side of the golf ball in the middle obviously for a draw you want the ball that's closest to your back foot to be on the outside and the one um towards your front foot on the inside and you want to exaggerate this and don't be scared to fail guys if you block it massively to the right that's not necessarily a bad thing that means you're changing your swing path you're making contact with the golf ball you're missing the other two um, but your club face is just too open that's pure and simple what it is and it's going to take practice and the key thing with this is getting dexterity um, and getting used to maneuvering your hands to the point that now I don't necessarily think about it all I do is try and work it with my hands and it just so happens to hit the ball left to right, right to left. Another great one is split stance. Keep your shoulders, so my shoulders still point at the target. Bring that right foot back and you're gonna hook one massively, Bubba Watson style. This is my personal favorites when I'm trying to hit out of the trees myself. And again, it's gonna allow that club to drop slightly more on the inside and allow you to get that hook shot. Obviously, to do the different and go, obviously, for more of a fade, you're going to bring that front foot forward on my back foot forward and again coming across it and try and recreate that slice action. Exaggeration's key here. Now, my last one for you guys is, it's a bit, it's a bit of a trick shot. I love doing these. I love doing them in a row. But at the same time, it's good trust practice. I want you to try and manoeuvre, try and exaggerate as much as possible. I love doing this with my lessons. Trying to curve a ball, trying to hit it left to right, hit it right to left, and then trying to hit one straight or whatever you're trying to work on. Now, that was a massive block right for me there. But don't worry, Don't if you fail, you're learning. That's the main positive to take away from this. And the more you exaggerate these at the start, the better. Another key tip is always trying to hit down, especially for the draw shot. So the line, when I'm trying to hit these shots, I'm always trying to hit that white line um, and hitting ball first. Now it's harder with the draw shot. So get used to hitting your practice swings more towards that front foot. If you're hitting that draw shot and they're only coming off the back foot, then you get end up fatting them. So that's just a quick tip there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed and understood that quick video. Leave me a comment for what's next.